This is Emily with NEI. Oh, yeah. Oh, today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm totally ready. Yeah. Okay, all right. Bye. We're all going through a weird time right now, but the important thing is we're going to get through it together. And at NEI, we're here for you. Rain, shine, pajamas, whatever. My name is Emily Roberts. I'm the newest team member. I represent Alabama for GIS. And I'd love to meet you. I'd love to come out and say hi. So um, contact me. My information will be at the end of this demo. I'm gonna show you how to use the TDC 150 today, how to collect some points and lines. And um, like I said, just contact me if you have any questions, you'd like to see a demo in person. We're gonna be at the um, Irondale uh, Whistle Stop Cafe. It's a historic cafe and um, also, you know, they have fried green tomatoes, but unfortunately it's closed right now, so we can't get any. But if you come visit, then maybe we can get some together. Let's get started. I'm gonna demonstrate how to put the Zephyr and the TDC 150 and the range finder all on one pole. You have everything on one pole. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to um, set up the Bluetooth to the range finder and also how to use uh, real time correction. So you'll want to go into your settings and um, you'll need a Wi Fi signal if you don't have a SIM card. So as you can see, I'm connected to a um, hotspot. And then um, for Bluetooth, that's how you're con gonna configure your range finder. Um, on the top, there's an up and a down button. Button. You'll hold the bottom button down and click it twice. And you'll see BT and then it'll come up on your screen and it'll start with a TP for true pulse. So you'll click that. Um, I know for this one, it's one, 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 one. So you might wanna try that as well. So first we're gonna start in TerraFlex. So we'll open that up. And then you're gonna set up your configurations. So you go to the hamburger icon and then you go to settings. Okay, um, the location service, you'll leave the same as the integrated Trimble GNSS, and that's here. Um, antenna setting, so this is about six feet, two inches. So I'm gonna put one, 0.89 meters. Uh, the antenna type, you're going to change to the Zephyr rover. And um, the measurement method is at the bottom of the antenna mount. Okay, so now we're going to do a real time correction. And we would have prepared this beforehand at the office. So you would have done it in. Um, um, TerraFlex or um, Trimble positions in uh, ArcMap. So in Birmingham, we have um, a free real-time connection called from ALDOT. So I'm going to select ALDOT Birmingham. And then we'll connect our laser rangefinder here as well.
Okay, so that's all good. So we've set up the whole um, project and now we're going to see what kind of estimated accuracy we're getting. So we'll go into location status. As you notice, we're in a open area. So we're going to start in this area to pick up um, as many satellite signals as we can. So I actually went back into settings and um, I changed the unit system into uh, Imperial. So you can see the antenna height now is 6.2 feet. And then also now when we go to our location services or status, it's uh, in inches. So now we have a really good uh, signal with and a, a real-time correction with ALDOT. So we're at three inches horizontal, 0.6 inches vertical. So we're ready to take our first point. Okay. So we found our first hydrant. We're gonna take this point. We are next to a building. So you will see our um, status uh, change a little there. So um, we'll go to Hydrant. You see that um, we're three inches uh, estimated accuracy. You would fill this out with all the information you would find on the Hydrant, including if you wanted to put a description. Once you've filled it all out, you hit the check mark and then you've collected that form. And then we're just going to move right over here to this water meter. So for this, you would just click on meter and then you'd put in the meter number and also the condition and this looks great so we're gonna click fair um, normally if there was any kind of damage then I would go ahead and take an image and then you just hit the check mark and that is saved okay so we found a meter in a uh, bad spot so basically it's under this awning with the tin roof so as you can see on the screen, um, it's in the accuracy is in feet now. We're gonna go ahead and take this point. So just like any other point, you'll just put in the meter number and the condition here is fair. And then we'll hit the check mark. So um, then we're gonna try something else to get a better accuracy in this area. So we came out in the open to get a better uh, reading of this water meter. So the water meter is over here. Um, we're out here in the open. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, press meter. When this comes up, you'll click on the area at the top that says point and collected accuracy. You'll click there. So a new screen will come up showing you the map. And then you will press this middle button with an X and a waypoint. So you'll log your current position. And then it says, uh, waiting for laser rangefinder so you'll look through it and you'll point it directly at the center of that water meter hold down the button and it captures the offset it guides you through some tips 
and then it says you have a nine inch accuracy which is fine for us because we're subfoot but if you wanted to refine that you could press refine and then you see a uh, yellow triangle next to um, next to that meter point um, you would just walk your whole pole and you'll see that you're the black dot and once you're in the middle of that yellow triangle you'll log another position take the same point on the water meter right and it still says nine inch accuracy but again that's great for us because we're subfoot. So now I can show you how far off that original point was that we took by coming back to the water meter. As you can see, this is a lot closer than just being under the awning and trying to take a point. This rangefinder will help you a lot in points like this. Um, before this, we've been taking only points. So um, in front of me, there's a uh, distribution main line for water. Of course, it's not dug up. I don't know what it's made out of or anything like that. But just for pretend today to show you this, um, we're gonna start the line here. So again, just kind of like the offset, you'll click up here where it says line not collected and um, I'm going to choose to walk this line so at the bottom you'll see the walking man you'll click on him and then you just start walking in a straight line in the middle of this distribution line now you can once you stop you press back on the walking man and then just click the check for collected. And like I said, normally we would have more information to fill in if I knew it. So right now we're gonna leave it blank. We'll hit a check mark there. And now we've collected that line. Okay, so um, we found another hydrant here that we're gonna take a point. Uh, I always like to try to keep the zephyr right over the middle. As you can tell, we're in canopy, so we're going to look at our location settings. Um, and as you can see, our accuracy um, definitely dies down under canopy. So if you wanted to use the laser rangefinder for this point too, you could. We're going to go ahead and take this point. So you would, again, fill out all the information that you would need. Click the check mark for collected. Um, so there's a water valve here. So we're going to collect that. and you just check the mark to collect it. So when you take this off the pole, you'll have to go into your settings and then uh, take off the antenna. So you'll just say TDC 150 internal. And then the antenna height, I would just kind of gauge how high I hold it so about around three feet. Okay, so let's see what kind of accuracy now we'll get over the hydrant. So we're right at almost uh, two feet horizontal, three feet vertical. So we'll go ahead and collect this point 
here. I'm just going to put handheld in this note so I'll see the difference between them. Um, you can go into the map now. You can actually click on the points by, cl by clicking the um, button in the top left corner. So we can see the one that I have selected now is the handheld and the one that is going to be more accurate is here to the um, lower left corner and that's closest to that um, water valve. You can see the difference there. So it definitely helps using the Zephyr in canopy um, or any kind of uh, situation where you have objects over your head. Mo, um, how to use the virtual pole with the handheld TDC 150. So we're going to collect this meter point. So you'll hit meter. Um, you'll click in the area towards the top that says point collected. It's going to bring up the map. You'll click the button in the bottom middle. And then it'll bring on the camera and have crosshairs on it. You'll want to match up this circle at the bottom till it turns green. Then you'll click the middle button at the bottom. And it has taken that point. So you'll hit the check mark. You'll put in the meter number. And this condition is needs a replace lid and box. So we'll check both of those. And then we're going to take an image of it. So we'll just hold this right over the box, hit the middle button, and check. And hit the upper check to take the point, and that's all you have to do.